Depending on the industry you're in or the products you're selling, your advertising campaigns might need some additional disclaimer or safety information alongside your ads. I personally have worked on accounts that offer mortgages, personal finance information, healthcare services, and each of those required additional disclaimers for us to be in compliance. In many scenarios, we actually had to opt out of using certain campaign types because we simply couldn't add in the legal disclaimers the way that we needed to. Now, although those projects are out of my reach now, can't do anything about it, I would have loved to have had Microsoft's disclaimers alongside our search campaigns. They're just a little snippet of text that you can customize to make sure that you're in compliance. And there are a couple different formats. So in this video, I wanna show you what Microsoft disclaimers look like, show you how to set them up, and give you a couple of things to be aware of to make sure that you're using the right one for your accounts. We're in our Microsoft placeholder account, which is why there's nothing running. The only thing that we have active is a brand campaign and nobody searches for our brand on Microsoft. So we're all set. The first thing you need to know about creating disclaimers for your Microsoft ads is that they need to be created with a brand new campaign. You cannot retroactively apply disclaimers to existing campaigns. This likely will be a pain point for a handful of you that need disclaimers, but have had campaigns running for a long time. And for that, I apologize, but that's what it is. If we go into this existing brand campaign and we click on campaign settings, there's nowhere in this section that allows us to add a disclaimer to the campaigns. You can look to your heart's content, but there's nothing that's going to have anything available for disclaimers. If we go back to the beginning and we start to create a new campaign, we first get to pick our goal, which to my knowledge, as long as you are doing a search campaign, you will have disclaimers eligible. As long as you're not using shopping campaigns, or dynamic search ads. Disclaimers are not compatible with either of those. So as long as you're using a traditional search campaign, you'll be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just create conversions to my website as my goal and choose search ads. I'm gonna give this a name because I'm gonna to need to use it later. And you'll find out what pop-up means here in just a minute. But then if I scroll down pretty much to the bottom of this section, you can see here, we can choose the box to show a disclaimer in ads for this campaign. And this is where we're going to set up the majority of the disclaimer infrastructure for the campaign. So the first thing we need to do is check the box. And as I mentioned, these are not eligible with dynamic search ads. You'll notice that because now the checkbox down here does not let me click it. I cannot opt into dynamic search ads now that I have a disclaimer in place. It also gives you the warning here this is your only opportunity to add a disclaimer to ads in this campaign. If you subsequently remove the disclaimer that you add, the ads in the campaign will not serve. So make sure when you are doing the setup process, you have everything that you need for this disclaimer setup and that you don't remove them later or else the ads won't run. So the first thing you get to do is choose from a dropdown of disclaimers. I have created some examples already, but I don't wanna use those just yet. So instead, we're gonna start off where most of you will start, and that's with adding a new disclaimer. So we're gonna click this little blue link, and it'll open up the editor on the right-hand side. Now, the first thing you get to do is add a name to your disclaimer. This will be an internal name. You, as the advertiser, will see it, but your users on the outside, anybody searching for any of your keywords, will not see this name. So name it something that will stand out to you and will be easily recognizable when you're going in and creating new campaigns and making any adjustments to make sure that you are legally covered with these disclaimers. So I'm gonna go ahead and give mine a pretty easy name. And you'll notice here that I used pop-up because we put pop-up in the campaign name, but then also, there are two different disclaimer layouts, and one of them is pop-up, and that's what I'm gonna do for this one. But before we get too far, I wanna show you an example of what the two different disclaimer layouts will look like. So for that, we're gonna jump into one of Microsoft's announcements where they first discussed these disclaimers, because I think they've got an image that does the best job. So here you can see the pop-up versus additional line layout disclaimer formats. On the left is the pop-out, where you'll see they have this disclaimer information link. And when a user clicks on that, it will open up this window for all of this additional information down below. And then with additional line layout, or at the time they called it line layout, you have a shorter amount of text that will only show up down here in description two. And then there is a link that is required at the end that'll take a user to a page on your website that talks about this more. So the biggest deciding factor here in my mind is what information you need to use for the disclaimer. Can you fit it into just a very short amount of space here? 
and then use the more info link just as a new dedicated link to your landing page? Can you get it done in a larger amount of characters, but that doesn't require an additional link to the website to have more information? Or do you have so much that you need to put into a disclaimer that it needs to be a combination of a short intro to what the disclaimer is, and then a link that sends people to a different page on your site that talks further about that disclaimer information? So depending on the amount of information, make sure that you're choosing the format that makes the most sense for you. We're gonna go through an example of both, so you'll be able to see what they look like. Back in the editor, I'm gonna stick with the pop-up layout for now. The next option we get to choose is the disclaimer title, which you'll remember in the example is going to be the text that shows up over here and what users will click on to open up the pop-up. So there are a handful of options here. The default is disclaimer info, but you can use disclaimer, disclosure, more disclaimer info, offer details, safety info, and safety information, whichever you prefer or whichever your legal team decides you have to use. For now, I'm gonna keep it as the basic information. And then you'll see down below, you get to put your entire disclaimer here and you get 500 characters for this. So whatever that information needs to be, you can add all of that into this field. Let's say that at Paid Media Pros, we wanted to make sure that people knew that Although we talk about the benefits of certain tools in our videos, we don't guarantee performance from them because nobody can guarantee performance. Otherwise, this job would be way too easy. So this would just be a very basic and probably bad example of a disclaimer that we could use. And then you'll remember for the pop-up option, there was not a link in the example that Microsoft used. So this final URL and mobile URL are both optional. If you would like to use them, you can. If you don't wanna use them, you don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and add one just because. I like to give people as many options to click through to the destination that I want them to go to as I can. So figure we might as well add them. So now that I'm finished with this, I could just click save. But as I think I mentioned earlier, I already have some pop-up and additional line examples built out. So instead I'm gonna click cancel and I'm gonna choose the pop-up example that I've already built. So if you have disclaimers already built in your campaign and you don't wanna create a new one, all you need to do is come to your dropdown and then choose the disclaimer that you've already built. So for now, I'm gonna choose pop-up disclaimer and you'll notice that you cannot add a second disclaimer. You can only choose one per campaign. If I were to choose additional line layout, it's going to replace the one that I already had for pop-up. But for this campaign, I want to set up the pop-up disclaimer because I already have an additional line item that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Now I'm gonna go through and finish out the rest of the campaign setup for this. So with the magic of editing, we're gonna jump forward a little bit. And just real quick while I'm setting this up, I'm on the ad creation portion. And after I've added in all of my ad text, you should see a disclaimer here and it will say campaign level disclaimer. This is the only level that you can add it to. So now let's jump forward again. And now I have successfully launched my disclaimer pop-up campaign. And you'll also see that line layout example campaign that I talked about earlier. So now let's start to go through a couple more things. The first thing I wanna show you is how to edit and change your disclaimers if you need to. So let's hop into this line layout campaign. We're going to then navigate to the campaign settings. And if we scroll down here just a little bit, we'll find the disclaimer information. So here I have chosen the additional line layout disclaimer for this campaign. But if I needed to change this for some reason to a different disclaimer that's in the account, I would just choose from the dropdown and I could change it to the pop-up disclaimer if I wanted to. I could add a new disclaimer or as you might've seen, I can adjust the additional line layout disclaimer by clicking edit. So it's pretty easy to change or edit the disclaimers that you have for your campaigns. Just remember, if you remove it all together and you do not replace the disclaimer, your campaign will not run. So now let's talk about the additional line layout format. I've already opted into that over here off on the right. And one of the big differences between the pop-up layout and additional line layout is this blue box right here. Ads with additional line layout disclaimers will not have ad text too. That means your description too will not show up and it will be replaced by this disclaimer. Back in this example here from their original announcement, that's exactly what happened. You can see that they have description line one here. Description line two has been replaced entirely with this disclaimer and the link to more information. Additionally, this has a lot less characters to work with. I already have some text in here, but if I take this out of here, you can see that we only have 80 characters remaining for the additional line layout disclaimer. It has to fit in that description too, plus the additional more info link. So they limit it to 80 characters rather than the typical 90 characters. 
So let me put our text back here real quick. And then the last thing that is a little bit different is that this link is required. Although they don't do a very good job of calling this out in the disclaimer builder, as you've noticed, final URL is required. Mobile URL is additional. It's easy enough to just add the link to both fields just in case something gets crazy. But overall, additional line layouts are a bit shorter, but they give you room to add in more information by adding in one of those final URLs. Let's go ahead and click save. And I wanted to do that because if the disclaimer that you're using is associated with any other campaigns, the changes that we've made here, which hasn't been any, but if we had made changes, would have been applied to all of the campaigns associated with the additional line layout disclaimer that we're using here. So if for some reason you need different disclaimers for different campaigns, make sure that you are creating separate disclaimers using the right format and providing a really clear name in the disclaimer name within your Microsoft account so that you'll always choose the right one for the right campaigns. Just gonna click okay. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is something that your legal teams or very picky managers will likely wanna see, and that's how to preview your ad with the disclaimer in place. So we're gonna do this for both campaigns, but to preview your ad, it's very simple. We just need to go to the ads and extensions navigation, click on ads. You can see here, we have a very basic ad layout here. I'm just gonna click edit, and they have all of these different recommended headlines and descriptions and all that good stuff. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the preview. And since these disclaimers are added in here, you'll even be able to see it over here up on the left in the actual ad editor itself. They have the additional line layout disclaimers and it's gonna take the place of description too. And you can see what that looks like. So if you need to take a screenshot and send that to your legal team or to your boss, you can see that we have the original subscribe to our channel message for description one. And then this text here is going to be the disclaimer, not our description two. You can even see it's got the more info link on here. And in the bottom left of the screen, you can see that it takes us to the YouTube channel. So you can always check what that link is gonna be there as well. You can get a preview on the side as well and what it will look like on mobile. The same process is gonna be true for the pop-up ad format. So let's navigate back to our campaigns. I'm gonna click into the new pop-up campaign, go to the ads tab again, click the pencil, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here you'll be able to see our placeholder ad again. And then you can see the disclaimer that will show up. And if you click on it, it will show all of the information that's available. And then unlike the example that Microsoft showed, ours has a link associated with it. So you can see that we have all the regular disclaimer text that I added. And then there's a learn more option, which again, in the bottom left, you can double check the link and make sure that it makes sense so that users are following up the disclaimer with relevant supporting information or just finding their way to the website if they need to. Overall, disclaimers are very easy to set up in Microsoft. You really just need to make sure that they have all of the right information to have you legally covered and provide any links where necessary. And then lastly, you just need to make sure that when you create your disclaimer campaigns, that you always have a disclaimer active. Otherwise, your campaigns will not run if there's no longer a disclaimer associated with it. If you have any questions about Microsoft disclaimers in ads or anything else about the Microsoft ads platform, leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.